Without the use of any telescope, a new planet was discovered with only pen and paper. 175 years ago, the French astronomer Urbain Louverrier presented his findings and amazed the entire scientific community. But how? Welcome back to World Explorer's Corner Videos. This story begins with an apple falling from a tree in front of the famous physicist Sir Isaac Newton. Upon witnessing this event, he pondered deeply about why the apple fell downwards and not upwards. This incident led him to formulate the universal law of gravitation. According to this law, any two objects in space attract each other. The object with greater mass exhibits stronger gravitational pull, thus attracting objects with lesser mass towards it. This phenomenon is known as gravity. This law of gravitation extends beyond our world. It governs the entire solar system and universe. The most prominent example is our solar system, where all planets orbit the sun. These planets, being smaller in mass compared to the sun, are drawn towards it, causing them to revolve around it in specific orbits. Our moon also follows this law as it orbits around the Earth. Despite the moon's much smaller size compared to Earth, it still exerts some gravitational force. Although this force isn't strong enough to displace Earth from its orbit, it does influence the ocean tides by attracting water, resulting in the formation of waves. Imagine, if for a moment, the moon were to halt its orbit around Earth, the moon would collide with Earth in a matter of minutes. This is due to Earth's gravitational attraction and the counteracting force known as the centrifugal force generated by the moon's orbital motion. Similarly, all planets orbit around the sun countless experiments and research validated Newton's law of gravitation, establishing its significance and explaining the functioning of our universe. Now, let's turn our attention to the year 1840, when Uranus was the farthest known planet in our solar system. This massive planet, four times larger than Earth, was discovered in 1781 through a telescope. Yet, an intriguing anomaly was observed in Uranus's orbit. It exhibited irregular behavior deviating from Newton's gravitational law. It would reach a specific point in its orbit and then move in an unconventional manner. How could a single planet defy the law of gravitation? For 60 years, astronomers worldwide grappled with Uranus's puzzling behavior. Among them was the French astronomer Urbain Louverrier. Louverrier dedicated nights to studying Uranus, but its orbit and behavior eluded his understanding despite his grasp of the gravitational law. He postulated that only the presence of a substantial nearby mass or planet could account for this behavior. The predicament was that no such planet was visible in its vicinity. Some astronomers even suggested a potential flaw in Newton's law, speculating that it might be incorrect. Unfazed by the skepticism, Louverrier, who had devoted his life to studying celestial bodies, remained convinced of the law's accuracy and proposed that Uranus was influenced by the gravitational pull of an unseen planet. On the night of September 23, 1846, Louverrier, as usual, gazed skyward, lost in thought. Armed with paper and pen, he embarked on intricate mathematical calculations. The result pinpointed a location near Uranus, indicating the presence of another planet. Not only did he determine its position, but he also calculated its mass, concluding it matched Uranus's mass. Upon publishing these findings, skeptics in the astronomical community ridiculed Louverrier's theory. They submitted his calculations to the Berlin Observatory, then one of the largest, requesting verification through their powerful telescopes. Dr. Johann Gottfried Gall of the Berlin Observatory, upon scrutinizing the designated area, initially observed nothing but a dark expanse. However, with greater focus, he identified a blue planet precisely where Louverrier had predicted. This new planet's size aligned with that of Uranus. Verrier's prediction proved remarkably accurate, leading to the discovery of the eighth planet of our solar system, which we now know as Neptune. Interestingly, the famous astronomer and telescope inventor Galileo had previously observed Neptune, but he mistakenly categorized it as a star in his drawings, failing to recognize it as a planet. 
1989, NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft conducted a close flyby of Neptune, capturing detailed images from a distance of 3,000 miles. Neptune, the farthest planet in our solar system, lies approximately 30 astronomical units away from the Sun, where one astronomical unit is the Earth-Sun distance. This vast separation results in temperatures plummeting to around minus 190 degrees Celsius. NASA describes it as a realm of colossal icy storms, with winds reaching speeds of up to 2,000 kilometers per hour. A Neptune day lasts about 16 Earth hours, while a Neptune year spans around 165 Earth years due to its immense orbital distance. Though Louverier is no longer alive, a model of Neptune adorns his grave in Paris, perpetually commemorating his contributions. I hope you enjoyed and will consider sharing this World Explorer's Corner videos. Thank you immensely for your kind comments. Look forward to our next captivating video.